Hey guys, from my form, take and back to a video. So, in this video, I'll show you guys how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC wireless in 2020 and running the brand new Windows 11. And also, this method does work with the PS4 controller as well. So, if you have a PS4 controller or PS4 controller, th then you can keep watching the video. So, for this tutorial, there's a few, a few things you need of course, your computer, a, a, then a controller, and then the cable that came with the controller. So, if you have the PS5 controller, th then it's a Type C, but if you have the PS4, it'll be a, a, a micro USB cable. So after that, it, they need to come to this upsell link. If you don't know all the time, upsell link is in my Discord server. So if you have in my join my Discord server, you can join it. It's in the pin comment. So after you join my Discord server, then tap on next, and then this is the link. So this is the ideas for for Windows. Tap on it, and then it will just brought to this page. So after you come here, click on download now, and now it will brought to this page right here. So in the top, you're gonna download the uh, version is a, a, a latest. So th this one is August 17, 2021. So that's it. All the time, get the a, a latest one. So after two or three months, if you're watching this video and if it's uh, version 3.30 and then next to it is the uh, latest, so obviously get that one. So after that, and now you're gonna just download the zip. So for most of it, it'll be 64. So if you have the 64 or 86, just try to get that. So for me, I, I'm gonna uh, download as a zip. So just tap on it. And now just click on save. And now you're gonna say it will start downloading. So for me, for extract, I'm using the winner, but if he isn't something else, it's absolutely fine. So now uh, just give it a few seconds. So after that, you can just open it up after it's finished downloading. So after you finish downloading, and now you're gonna just open it up. So you're gonna say something like this right here. So I'll just close all the other stuff. And after you see something like this, you should see the DS4 for, for Windows. So uh, before you do anything, just click on wizard and then click on finish. And now it will be extracted. So after that, you should see a file right here. So now we're just gonna go to the DS4 for, for Windows and then I'm gonna see all this stuff and DS4 for, for Windows. And I click on yes. And now you're gonna get something like this. So for the first time, you need to uh, download this uh, right here. So for me, I'm on Windows 11, so that's why there's a new folder. So just tap on that and click on I agree and then click on I accept and then click on next. And now just uh, it gives us a few seconds. So uh, uh, this is happening now. You can just uh, 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 plug in the controller. Now, also if you need to connect this by a uh, Bluetooth. So for other stuff, for if you are on Windows 7, you can just download the 360. This is the optional, and now click on finish. And now gonna get something like this. So this is the uh, main window. So uh, I'll just uh, uh, zoom in so you guys can see it better. So uh, just like that. So now we're just gonna uh, uh, plug it in. And also with this software, you can connect up to eight controllers at the same time. So now if you want, you can also connect by uh, uh, Bluetooth. So first I'll, I'll show you guys uh, what, and then I'll show you guys the wireless method. So just give it a few seconds until this thing connect. And now you're gonna see that your controller will set in charging. So if you see the uh, LI like this, so if you see this, so that when it's charging, and now she's now she's just see it so just give it a few seconds so after you, you don't see it just click on start and now she see the controller and then boom it should be connected so uh, it will just see something like this so uh, as i said for the battery life it's 100 percent but so you can just change the color so uh, as i said it's blue now so if you want you can just tap on it and then you can see it's custom color and then you can change it to any of this color right here so if you, so if you want you can change it to red if we just go down and then if we need to change it just to red i can just uh, uh, do that and then you can see it will change instantly so after that is done now th that is it so if you just hold the controller you can just uh, uh, move around so i'll just zoom out now uh, as i said so if you just hold the controller you can uh, move around and you can enjoy a uh, playing a game simple as that so uh, that is the uh, wire matter so now i'm going to show you guys how to connect this as well so you're just going to unplug it and now we're just gonna uh, close this. Now you're just gonna ma uh, 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 minimize this. So now you're gonna on. Now we're gonna open up your setting. So I'll just go search it up. I'll just search up for a, a Bluetooth setting. Being something like this. So if you come here, you're gonna just tap on. Make sure a Bluetooth is on. And now we're gonna uh, a pair any device. So just click on add a device. Click on Bluetooth. And now now on a controller, you're gonna hold the share and the PlayStation button. So just hold it for a few seconds and then you're gonna see it will start flushing. Now you see it. So after you give it a few seconds, you should see the uh, wireless controller. So if you don't see it, just click on cancel. 
a device and then click on Bluetooth and now you see the wireless controller pop up so for me I think it's already paired so that's why it's not gonna show up so for me as I said the wireless controller is already paired so I'm just gonna a a remove it quick but the thing is if, it's, if this is the first time the a, then you should just see it wireless controller tap on it um, boom and now we're gonna see it will be connected and now we're gonna see a third line so now if you just go back and now if you just open up the uh, uh, it is for windows again now she just see this so it's down and now you're gonna see uh, other than saying the wire you're gonna see the uh, a bluetooth sign so now is the same thing it's already connected and boom you can enjoy playing like that uh, as you said so there's no cable now you can play this as a, a wireless controller so guys if you guys enjoyed this video then uh, don't forget to smash the like button and guess also i'm doing a, a, a q a for hitting one thousand subscriber so just in the comment section just write any question that it, he, you want me to answer so just write any question you want and see you guys in the next one